All right, YouTube, so we got to talk about two separate Call of Duty YouTubers and their goddamn clickbait. So if you guys happen to keep up with the Call of Duty scene, it's a first-person shooter I play. I play all of them except Infinite Warfare. This is one year where I skipped the new Call of Duty. Anyways, the, the rumor right now for 2017 is that the new Call of Duty is going to be World War II. That's apparently the fucking name. There's actually like leaked screenshots and shit. I have not viewed them myself, but the consensus is that this is probably going to be it. It's probably pretty legit. May not actually be the name. What we're here to talk about is two YouTubers in particular, Merc Music and Hollow Point. You've probably heard of them. Merc Music is pretty goddamn big. Uh, he's up there with like T Martin and them. He's got like 3.6 million subscribers or some shit like that. Hollow Point is pushing a million. He's at like 900 something thousand. Um, I do not watch their content. I've watched a little bit of Merc Music. There was a time where uh, that kind of thing entertained me. His content is, I don't know, it, it's like hit and miss, dude. He can be funny as fuck, but it's repetitive and generic. It's just like, let's put on a wacky filter so my face is funny, and let's do a wacky voice, and, you know, it's it, let's do a cinematic zoom in really quick on my face or somebody else's face in the video. Like, it's uh, generic. Every YouTuber does that shit. Hollow Point, I know nothing about, but I've watched his his clickbait video. First up, we're going to hit Merc Music, and this isn't even the video I wanted to discuss, but when you go to his channel, you know, you have that channel trailer you can show to people, and he has it entitled Advanced Warfare 2. Now, Sledgehammer is the studio making this year's Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2017. They made Advanced Warfare, so the, the rumor could have been that, hey, they might be making Advanced Warfare 2, so he took it upon himself a couple months back to make this video. Obviously, it's clickbait. It's it's not a serious video, you know. It was just like a comedy type thing. It it uh, has you know like advanced warfare gameplay and shit like that. I didn't watch uh, that much of it, just like the little bit that you see, a couple seconds. But uh, like even if it's not meant to be a serious video, it's still clickbait by the title alone, and it's kind of douchey. The video we are talking about specifically for this video is this one right here. As I mentioned before, the rumor right now is that it's going to be Call of Duty World War Two for Call for Call of Duty 2017. So, today, which happens to be April 1st, which is April Fool's Day, of course, uh, he drops this video, Call of Duty World War II Leaked Trailer. Uh, the description doesn't even mention it being a joke. If you actually read the description, it, it makes it seem like it's legit. Um, obviously, it's not the case. This guy would not have the first dibs on this trailer. Obviously, Activision or Sledgehammer or somebody would be the first one to release the trailer or whatever. They wouldn't even have a full trailer that would be able to be leaked because that like never fucking happens. Now, this one is made in the same nature as that Advanced Warfare 2 video. It's just a joke. It's got gameplay from a bunch of different, like, shooters. It actually has gameplay from Battlefield 1. And they're making fun of that White Stripe song that was in the, the trailer for Battlefield 1. He's got, like, a flute, and he's kind of singing some of the words. Um, it's not funny. I mean, it's just not. It's dumb. As I mentioned many times on this channel, there's nothing wrong with clickbait if you follow through on what it says. So, like, if I, if I actually had, like, some kind of news for, like, say, Fallout 5, and I was like, Fallout 5, news released, and I had, like, a Fallout 5... Uh, makeshift fan-made thumbnail, but I actually had tangible news for Fallout 5, it's not clickbait, you know? At least not clickbait in the wrong way. As I mentioned before, he uploaded this on April 1st, so he can have the argument of, well, it was just a prank, bro. It was just April 1st, man. It was an April Fool's Day joke, but, like, it's not, dude. Like, I don't understand why big channels feel the need to clickbait like this, man. Why do you need to do this? Your channel is already so goddamn big. He gets a pretty good amount of views, too. Like, why do you need to pretend like you have, you know, this leaked trailer for the new Call of Duty and get everybody riled up? You know, it's ridiculous, man. I don't understand why these big channels can get away with it. The like ratio for the video is crazy. He's got, like, you know, 17, 18,000 likes and only, like, a couple thousand dislikes. Like, why aren't people mad about that? I mean, can you imagine if there's somebody in the Bethesda community who kept just posting Fallout 5 stuff, like, Fallout 5 leak trailer confirmed, Fallout 5 release date, like, all this bullshit, and they never came through with anything. It was just, like, some kind of joke video. Like, how pissed would we be? It'd be fucking absurd. Like, why do people get away with this in the Call of Duty community? Why do his subs not, like, get pissed off about this? And actually, looking through his channel, he a few days ago, he made a very similar video, World at War 2. Now, Call of Duty World at War is a big fan favorite. I believe it's the one that introduced the zombies, which is, like, obviously, these days, probably the biggest part of what Call of Duty is, and part of why people buy the game. So, obviously, the, the, the community would be clamoring for a fucking sequel to this game, and he went through and made a World at War 2 uh, video. I have not watched it. I imagine it's in the same realm as the Advanced Warfare 2 and the Call of Duty World, uh, World War 2 video thing. Probably the exact same thing with just like Call of Duty World at War gameplay, another joke video. Haha, ha, it's fucking funny. 
Now on to Holopoint. He recently made a video called the Call of Duty World War II Beta. And he has a thumbnail. It looks like it's going to be legit. Like, right? He's got news about the Call of Duty World War II Beta, which would, all, for one, it would confirm there's a beta. And it would confirm that Call of Duty World War II is a thing. He also has a thumbnail that has the Call of Duty, you know, typical logo and some text that reads, you know, World War II. Now also pay attention to that description. It actually says, New Call of Duty World War II, the Call of Duty game for 2017. The multiplayer beta, possibly one of the most important things for Call of Duty, I'm assuming, or something like that. So, the video seems legit, right? He's got some news, got some coverage about the Call of Duty World War II beta. But alas, that's not what it is. All it is is he's discussing that there should be a beta and that it should, uh, what it should offer. It shouldn't offer, you know, all the guns. I think Infinite Warfare eventually had all the guns, or maybe that was Black Ops 3, I don't remember. Uh, one of them had, like, all the guns, all the maps, and shit like that. And he's saying it shouldn't be that, you know, that way we have shit to, uh, to discover and find out about whenever we actually get the game. I just don't get why this is okay, man. It's, people were raging in his comments. I don't remember off the top of my head what the like-dislike ratio was, because I watched the video the other day. Um, but people were pretty upset because it was clickbait, dude. It just fucking is. Like, all you had to do is be like, the Call of Duty World War II beta discussion or uh, speculation. Something like that. Like, just if you just added one more goddamn word to that title, there would be no problem right now. I wouldn't even be talking about his fucking video. I would give a shit less. I would go on not knowing who the fuck this guy was. Also, to throw a little more shade at this guy, he does like, uh, he does gameplay, but also has in the top right window a uh, face cam while he talks and does discussions and plays you know, uh, multiple, he does, like, live game, he does commentary as he's playing, like, live or whatever, um, but he edit, you know, you edit your video when you, you, you're supposed to edit out, like, the ums and the pauses and the awkwardness, but I don't do that shit, because, fuck it, I'm just transparent as hell, but he does that, he did, you know, he chops the video, edits, has the jumps, but he does it to the entire video, so, like, he must have recorded the gameplay and the face cam, and then after that, edited it, instead of editing his, you know, top right window face cam video, like, so the gameplay is jumping around with his fucking, uh, dialogue and shit, it's fucking ridiculous, like, how fucking lazy can you be? I just don't understand, man. It must be something that you can get away with if you have a bigger channel. Because, like, say a smaller channel like myself constantly did that clickbait, you know, Fallout 5 bullshit, Elder Scrolls 6 stuff, and all that crap. My channel would go goddamn nowhere, man. People would be massive thumbs down, dislike, people would be unsubscribing, all that shit. But these channel, these bigger channels can do it. We talked about the GTA 5 clickbaiters before, and now we're talking about some Call of Duty clickbaiters. And everybody can just get away with it, but not a small channel. And I just don't understand... Why people subscribe to this, you know, Mark Music's more of a comedy channel. I guess he can kind of get away with it, but it still bothers me to have the clickbait titles and thumbnails, and you're not offering any actual news or anything. The other problem is that also, like, Mark Music actually does legit news for Call of Duty because he's a Call of Duty primarily channel. And so he'll cover, like, DLCs and, like, he's done, like, map discussions, map breakdowns, and, like, how to, you know, run the maps for multiplayer and shit like that, and, like, objective game modes. So when he comes out with a Call of Duty World War II leaked trailer, like, there's a po good portion of his subscribers they are going to think it's fucking legit, man. And it's not. Like, I just... Why aren't people pissed about that? I don't fucking get it, man. I said that a lot in this video, but it's because I literally don't fucking get it. Anyways, guys, I just want to rant about some Call of Duty YouTubers in particular. We we all know that the majority of Call of Duty YouTubers are just as bad as, like, fucking Minecraft YouTubers. They're just... They're trash, dude. They're, they're being a dead horse. Call of Duty's, honestly, like, I love the, I love the game, and I, I'm going to buy most of them. Depending on how, you know, if they're not Infinite Warfare, I'll probably get them every year. Um, but for the most part, it's a dying franchise because they're just putting it in the ground and Activision's a money whore. They don't care about the fucking fans of the game. They just want what's in your goddamn wallets. So if you happen to view any of these guys' channels regularly, if you like their, what their content is, let me know what you think about this. Are you upset about these kind of clickbait stuff? Are you okay with it? Let me know all this shit. And if you're not, let me know what you think as well. Uh, even if you don't play Call of Duty, let me know if, you, if this, to you, does this feel like shitty clickbait to you? Is it fucked up? Do you not really care? All that shit. In the comments below, I always love hearing feedback from you guys. Anyways, if you want to enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Follow me on Twitter. Links to my social networks are in the description. And the outro. Later, guys. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake. Cause I don't fucking care.